The world is a huge place, full of different lifestyles and cultures, so it's not surprising that the standards of beauty vary from place to place. Just wait until you see which lip color will get you noticed in the Middle East. Stay tuned to find out. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. Now, let's take a look at what people find attractive in different parts of the world. Russia if you've ever looked at a map of the world, you probably realize that Russia is a huge country. Because of that, they have various standards of beauty depending on the region. In central Russia, the women seem to adopt a less is more attitude when it comes to beauty. The older a woman gets, the less makeup they wear. They try not to go too flamboyant with their wardrobe and like to keep things classy and modest. Since the women in western Russia are so close to Europe, they have adopted many of the standards of beauty as Europeans. They work out to keep slim and are more willing to experiment with their hair and makeup. The women who call the south of Russia home tend to find taller women beautiful. They like their skin to be sun-kissed, their eyelashes long, and their lips nice and plump. When you get to Midland, Russia, the women become more explicit with their beauty. They like to wear tight clothes to show off their curves, and though many people think brunettes rank supreme in this area, it is the blondes that have all the fun. In eastern Russia, fuller-figured women are preferred to slim figures. They also think bushy eyebrows, small lips, white teeth, and elegant hands are signs of beauty. Thailand when it comes to beauty standards around the world, it seems like many cultures want what they can't have. Women with light skin in Western culture want to make it tan because tan skin is seen as healthy. But in Thailand and Western Asian cultures, it is the complete opposite. Women already have dark skin and they want it to be lighter. There is actually societal pressure for Thai women to use skin lightening products. Sometimes the products can have some serious consequences. Women will go as far as having gluta injections to whiten their skin. But the whole idea of lighter skin being better is really controversial in Western culture where all skin tones are perceived to be beautiful. If you thought women injecting their skin to have lighter complexions was strange, just wait until you hear about the Kayan tribe. This group of people calls Northwest Thailand home. The women of this tribe add rings to their necks when they are just four years old, and they keep stretching their necks as they age. To this tribe, having a long, beautiful neck is the most desirable. They stretch them so much that their muscles are no longer able to hold their heads up alone. And while many people believe these women are elongating their necks, these brass rings are actually pushing their shoulders down, making their necks appear longer. Kenya just like Thailand has a tribe within its nation with different beauty standards, there is a tribe in Kenya that has its own definition of beauty when it comes to women. The ladies of the Maasai tribe pierce their earlobes when they are still young, but this isn't like the mall piercings you got when you were little. These ladies will use anything from elephant tusks to sharp sticks or thorns to poke holes in their earlobes. And as time goes on, they use large rocks or sticks to stretch their earlobes out. Once their earlobes are nice and long, the women add beaded ornaments to both ears. They aren't the only ones who get in on the stretched earlobe action either. Men in this tribe also participate in this custom. The eldest members of the Maasai tribe have the longest earlobes. Though this has been a beauty standard in the tribe for ages, the younger generation is starting to turn away from it. It should also be noted that women in this tribe like to keep their hair short. Women with shaved heads are perceived to be more beautiful. And considering the weather conditions in Kenya, having buzzed hair is probably a lot more comfortable and practical. Colombia Many people believe that Colombia has some of the most beautiful women in the world. Because of their beauty standards, it's easy to see why. One of the most important things, if you are a woman in Colombia and want to be admired, is to have a curvy body. They like the hourglass shape, and many women will turn to plastic surgery to achieve it. In fact, if you are stick thin, there is a pretty good chance you will get some stares. Many Colombians find it unnatural to be very skinny and would rather women have curves. This country also likes its women to have perfectly tanned or olive skin. When it comes to hair, women may naturally have curly hair, but they would rather straighten out their curls. And it seems like brunettes are preferred over redheads or blondes. Big eyes that are blue or green and a nice smile are both perceived as beautiful in this culture. This sounds very similar to what Western cultures find beautiful, and there might be a good reason why. Thanks to Colombian drug cartel, many of the traffickers would bring back Western magazines. These magazines would show the different standards of beauty in the Western world, and it started rubbing off on Colombian women. The Middle East 
The standards of beauty in the Middle East haven't changed much over the centuries. Women used to be buried with their cool makeup, which suggests that beauty was very important even in the ancient Middle Eastern cultures. There is an importance of women being curvy with small waist, but this wasn't always the standard. Dark brown eyes that are wide set are perceived to be most beautiful. Eyelashes should be long and separated. Having a skinny nose is also important. So important, in fact, that women in Iran wear their nose job bandages like a trophy. Middle Eastern cultures also love women with large red lips. Having long, jet black hair means a woman is healthy and Middle Eastern women will do anything to get it. They will rub natural oils on their hair to promote health and growth. Women also remove excess body hair with hot wax so they have supple, hairless skin. Over the years, thanks to Western cultures, many Middle Eastern women have started dyeing their hair blonde, wearing light contacts, and getting spray tans. This is seen as rebellious, but it's not looked down upon. No matter if you conform to any of these beauty standards we listed or not, we think beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. And as long as you are happy with the person you are on the inside, then no one can say you aren't beautiful. What do you think about what is attractive in different parts of the world? Tell us in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.